Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 22 of Prison Architect. Let's go ahead and just let time run on. We've got a few more prisoners coming in. This is another good thing, of course, about um, paroling all of your prisoners out, is that if you parole them out, then you actually gain um, uh, a, a additional capacity. You can take more prisoners on. Just notice we don't actually have any drains here. I um, don't know why that's the case. I thought we'd uh, we got drains on all of these things. Did they disappear? Did something happen that I wasn't aware of? Did they get damaged? Hadn't noticed that before. Either way, we'll go and get some drains there now. So, are we already running at full capacity here? I don't think so. I think we should be good. So, what we do want to do is get ourselves some sinks and things. We, we have a fair bit of money now, so let's go ahead and start working on this. So, what do you need in a kitchen? You need um, fridges, cookers, and sinks. And a bin. Someone's getting tased. So, let's go ahead and place a um, bin. And then we need to get ourselves um, all of the kitchen stuff, really. So, um, cookers. Let's go ahead and get some cookers going along the back. And we need um, fridges. So, let's get some fridges going in along here. We'll leave a space because we want people to be able to get through. And then we want... Um, sinks as well so we'll put a few um, sinks in there again we'll leave some gaps so there we go that's a nice big kitchen there um, we will want serving tables so we want to get a few of these in where we can we'll actually put a few extra ones in so we've got some space in fact let's just remove that one and put it a little bit closer so there's some more serving tables we can can't quite squeeze another one in there which is a little bit of a shame and then we want um, Benches and tables. So we're going to leave a space. Bench, table, bench, space, bench, table, bench, space, bench, table, bench, space, bench, table, bench. Leave a little gap in the middle. Match them all up. So we're going to have much higher um, capacity. Oh, power's gone out. <laughs> Looks like we need more capacitors. And... Um, put all these in here so we're going to put a few more capacitors on there so utilities capacitors this is going to cost us quite a bit of money but it's well worth doing uh, I think we also want to have maybe a television in there even if it's just one you know just keeps them keeps them happy and uh, we need our tables Let's go and get all of the tables in. Big investment this, but it will pay for itself. Obviously, we've got issues with the power, but that will all be sorted soon. So let's go back up now to speed three. Haven't noticed any um, tunnels for a while, so we might be all right there. And of course, we're going to need to hire more cooks. We need to get water running in here as well. Uh, we'll need hot water also to the sinks. Which we can probably have up here at the side of the cell that'll be here. Although we could just put the boiler in the kitchen. It's not a terrible idea. So, utilities. Because the boiler actually helps to keep things warm. So, we can put the boiler in there. And then we can get ourselves a large water pipe. Run it all the way under here. Run that through under the sinks. Um, ele electrical cables need to all be connected up. And we'll need hot water pipes, of course, as well. So um, hot water running along here. I don't think we'll need... Um, radiators in the canteen we'll see how well we run without them for a start if we do need them and we will put them in but i don't think we really need to do that 
So hopefully all these capacitors will get installed. Um, switch this on. So as soon as these cables all get done, everything should be fine. I guess we still should periodically be searching these toilets. Someone's been just been found with some shears. This does this does monopolise the uh, guards' time quite a bit. Um, I was also reading on the wiki, and it's quite a good point. Although I don't normally pay that much attention to it because I don't micromanage it, but it said that if you um, find a prisoner who is constantly tired, it might well be because they've they've been up all night digging tunnels. Because the prisoners only uh, dig tunnels during the night. So, there you go. There we go. We've got some more capacitors on that now. So, that should fix that. Um, so, this basically has everything that it needs to have. We're still... Uh, oh, we need um, power to the uh, boiler, do we? Uh, utilities. Electrical cable. Um, you should have... No, you don't. Okay, we'll, we'll power you up like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here then is we are going to get ourselves... Oh, we've got a death. I'll we'll check that out. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six cooks. We could assign some uh, prisoners here as well. Um, but what, what we need to do is um, look for rooms. We need a uh, kitchen. And I'm, I'm aware of the deaths. We'll sort that out very soon. So, all of this is designated kitchen. And all of this is designated canteen. Who died and what were they doing? We can't see what actually happened there. We'll have to do a shakedown soon. There's another early release reward. So, that is all good. So, let's just slow things down a little. And we want to go on to logistics. So, oh no, we can give some prisoner jobs in these uh, in these kitchens. You see, which is quite good. Um, food distribution. So you want to be doing. You're going to that one. This one is just basically the dorms. Right. So this one is going to be the dormitories and the holding cell. And then this one is doing all of the cell blocks. That seems perfectly fine to me. So we'll leave it running like that. That's quite good. That should sort out a few of our problems at least. Um, yeah. I think we'll be alright there. So we still need to increase our holding cell capacity. Which we'll do over here. We do need another laundry and a cleaning cupboard. Uh, we do need to get a metal detector on this place, so that is something that we should do quite quickly. We do have the money for it, so let's go ahead and get that in. And um, we could probably even run the uh, workshop off this power station as well if we wanted to. Instead of running it off this. Mind you, I don't think there's going to be much more added to this one, so we should, should be okay. Uh, got capacity for 10 more prisoners, so we will have some money coming in in the morning. So that is fine. Everything is uh, ticking along. We have found a few weapons and stuff, so I think we are going to be having a, uh, a shakedown. Maybe we'll wait until the morning. Actually, no, we'll do it now. Because you know what the good thing is about doing it in the middle of the night? Is most of the prisoners are actually in their beds. So you don't really have to worry about people roaming around. Also means that most of your guards aren't really doing anything. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, speed this up. You can see there's already quite a lot of stuff that we are finding here. Uh, we've already found two power drills, a hammer, uh, two pairs of shears, 11 cell phones, uh, a hacksaw, and, um, you know, two lighters, some poison, some alcohol, some medicine, some narcotics. Uh, so definitely finding a lot of stuff here. Hopefully most of this will be done by morning. And we have actually started to discover a tunnel. Like I said, you can sometimes start to find tunnels. You're not guaranteed to find them. Um, but you can actually... You, there is a chance that you'll find them. We've just found a, a knife there as well. Um, we want to uh, remove that tunnel. And we want to make it a priority. Keep our eye open in case we find any more. Found three power drills now. 
These workmen are obviously really terrible at just leaving stuff lying around. Two knives. This is why it's important to have metal detectors on the kitchens. It is 7am. We are about to get some new prisoners coming in. We have searched most of the places though, so that's not too bad. We are going to need to build another common room. Maybe that's what I was planning to do with this. Maybe this was going to be a common room. Well, no, I said the common room could go at the side of where the... Um, the common room was going to go at the side of the dorms, because the dorms are smaller. And I did say that if I built new dorms, I might not even put the solitary on them. So we could build some smaller dorms. So this we could use as like a chapel or something like that, or a library. You know, we could build something that we haven't already built before. Um, with that in mind, and as we do actually have some money, let's go ahead and build a building here. Uh, and then we'll decide what we want it to be. I might make this a library or a chapel. Chapel might be a good thing. Uh, help quell some of the prisoners. And then we'll have another common room and another laundry and cleaning cupboard um, at the side of... Well, we're not necessarily... We can make this into a cleaning cupboard. This yard is still quite big. What are you finding? More, more narcotics. We could actually keep this as a yard. It's probably not a bad idea. Um, let me make it a small yard. Uh, so let's go ahead and room it uh, off as a yard. See, we don't have a mail room either. Got to be six by six. Yeah, we can do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get a yard. We'll have another one. This was a yard before. Just a little one, but I mean, it gives people somewhere to work out, you know. Someone's getting tased. But hopefully everyone should be getting fed now. Uh, we do need to have guards in here at all times, so um, deployment. We want a guard in here. And um, I think we also want a, another armed patrol in, in the canteen, because this is where things tend to kick off. So we want an armed patrol. Um, we probably want to get another locker. Another death today as well. Was uh, ex-law enforcement and snitch. It always is. I really should set up some uh, protective custody. Uh, let's go and get ourselves a, another um, guard locker. Doesn't look like it's in the right place at all, does it? But well, Apparently that's where it goes. Uh, and then once we get that, we can hire ourselves another armed guard. Because I think we're at capacity at the moment, and indeed we are. So once that gets built, we'll have another armed guard. There's the locker coming in. Yeah, it's in the right place, so let's get ourselves another armed guard. Obviously, the prisoners don't like having lots of armed guards around, but if they'd stop killing each other, we wouldn't need them. So this will be a chapel. So we're going to want to put a... Uh, we'll put a large jail door in. We'll lock it open. Still hear some trees going down. Actually making decent money again now, which I quite like. So that is going to be locked open. The room is finished. It doesn't have any power. Uh, it doesn't really need a lot, but it does need lights. So let's just run that down into there. And then we want to make this our chapel. So we're going to make it into a chapel. And it needs uh, an altar, pews, and prayer mats. So um, objects, we want an um, altar. So there's the altar. And we want pews. Not going to get many in, really. Maybe we'll make it go this way. So we'll put the pews in like this. Cancel the altar. Not too sure how much room the prayer mats take up. So we'll put the um, altar in first. So the altar can go up there at the front. And then we will have some prayer mats. They don't actually take up all that much room at all. In fact, I think if we stick a few of these prayer mats up here in the uh, corners. And then we could probably get rid of um, these ones and get in another pew. 
Not too sure what the ratio is going to be. Not too sure if individual prisoners have religions. For all I know, they might just use whatever's available. So we'll see how that works out. But I mean, that, that will actually help things out. So now we've got that, and it's valid. What we should be able to do, there should be a spiritual guidance uh, one. Yeah, spiritual guidance. 32 people in queue. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, all rooms booked for parole hearing. Well, that's not a, not a surprise, is it? Uh, reschedule all programs. Edit schedule. Yep, spiritual guidance. We could do that several times a day. There's no reason why not. Uh, let's do another one at um, 7 p.m. There's no reason why we can't, you know, have like double behavioral therapy. Things like that. There's certain th for like this foundation education as well. I feel that we could be. Um, what's this one? Program is outside of a valid work regime. And we're not doing general education. That's why we're not doing general education because it takes too long. So we need to make 9 p.m. Um, regime. 9 p.m. It's running into your eating time a little bit. Um, well, we could, do, we could do 6, I suppose. So let's go back into um, programs. Edit schedule. Um, and can we just pin this program in place can we uh, move you here there we go that should be okay hopefully still finding more narcotics and stuff we are still a little under capacity we are still taking prisoners on I assume intake intake is up to 120 Ah, we just we just took some on there now. We're all back up to capacity again. Good. Good stuff. So hopefully now we'll get some more prisoners past this thing. I thought it was going to freeze up again then. There's, there's definitely a little bit of time where it has a little bit of a fit. Um, I'm hoping we don't need to have um, guards in the chapel. We probably do need CCTV in there though. So that is something that we will go and work on. So let's make sure we get ourselves a CCTV camera in the chapel. It seems a little bit like something you shouldn't have to do, but it is a prison after all. So if we don't do that, we might have ourselves some issues. So there are still a few other things that we can build. We might even build some of them up here, like a mail room. In fact, we could build the mail room over here, possibly. Instead of eating into valuable space here. We've also got some more room at the bottom here, below this laundry. So here, for example, we could have a mail room. So maybe we'll put a mail room in here, actually. And then... Um, yeah, I don't know what we'll use that space for, but maybe we can we definitely squeeze a mail room in here. So uh, we've got a decent bit of money in the bank. Let's go ahead and build a building. Um, surely that's got to be large enough. And we will want to put in a uh, jail door. We'll also want to go and put in some paving stones. In fact, if we just connect all of that up. Found another power drill again. These workmen really are terrible when it comes to leaving tools around. But things are generally going well. So what this is going to be now is... Uh, oh, it doesn't have any power. Um, electrical power. So that should work out fine. And that's going to be our mail room. So mail room requires uh, a sorting desk and a table. Doesn't need to be this big at all. That only needs to be five by five. So I'm thinking we just sort of um, divide it in half and use half of it as the shop. I think this room is a lot bigger than it, than it needs to be. So we'll get ourselves another um, jail door over here. And then um, rooms. Shop only needs to be 4x4. Four four. Table indoors. Shop, set, shop shelf adjacent to room. Oh, I think I understand what that's asking for. 
So we build a shop here. And then make a separate little area that people can stand in. So if we build... No, that can't be right. Adjacent to room. So, how does that work then? If we put another... That's not right. Let's get walls. Brick walls. I mean, adjacent to what sort of room? Let's just see how this works out. Let's go ahead and put a, uh, a jail door in there. It's probably not going to work at all, but we'll see what happens. Still don't have power going into the mail room. So let's just go ahead and get... Um, uh, where are we? Lost it. Let's call cable. You need to just run along into there. But I think... Wow. Finding a lot of power tools again. Definitely going to need to do another shakedown soon. But I think it is a good place to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Prison Architect. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.